So in this week's episode, we're doing a wrap project that we have never done anything like it before. We're wrapping a house. Oh yeah, but it's a house on wheels. Ingrid and I have bought a school bus and we are going to convert it into a tiny home and we're gonna hit the road. So I just got laid off from my job after five years. This is my job for the next three months. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to rehab this. I've known the owner, Eric, for over 20 years from the skydiving world. He and his wife, Ingrid, have finally finished a school bus and converted into a home on wheels. They're getting ready to head out for a year traveling across the country living on that bus. Yeah, yeah, but haven't you forgotten one little detail? Well, actually, three little details. <laughs> so I've got a family of five. It's myself, my wife, Ingrid, and our three little children. Our, my oldest is four, my middle is three, and my youngest is just one. Eric actually drove his house to our shop last night. Wow. Hopefully he's in here. He's probably still sleeping. We go wake him up and talk to him about what heck he wants to do with this thing. In the thing. bus. Yes, he okay. is. So not only is this a regular vehicle, drives down the road, it's a house too. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a, a home. house for they a, live in it. a couple and their three small children. Oh, yes. Crazy. Look at this front door here, man. All right, come on, ring that doorbell. Hello, anybody home? The family's plan is to hit the road for the next year. We're going to travel around in our converted uh, bus. We converted it from a school bus into an RV and we are gonna see the sights. We don't know where we're going, we don't know how we're getting there, um, and um, we don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off, but the plan is one year on the road. What's up, boys? Yeah. What in the heck? How you doing? How's it going? Nice, nice to see you. See you. Good, all right, all right. Good to see you, man. How's it going? Very what good, in the world good. have you done here? Well, made my little bus into a home, man. Oh, man. We, uh, yeah, we just converted it into an RV. We're ready Did to roll, yeah, we're how, roll how around the US. How long you working on it? Uh, my three-month timeline turned into seven months. <laughs> seven <laughs> months. Yeah. And it was, it was like a, a yellow school bus when you got it. Full seats, yeah, one of, out of an auction. I've never seen the inside. Have you seen the inside? I saw it about a month ago out at the drop zone, yes. Yeah, okay, all right. I've never seen the inside, so well, show me what out. you got here. Come on yep. <laughs> this is, it's still under construction oh. even after seven months. Man, yeah, this thing is big. I can't even believe it. I see you got GoPros oh, all yeah. set up here. What? I, I got to document it for our YouTube channel, man. Absolutely. That's cool. I guess you guys are filming all the time. Just yeah, like us, absolutely. pretty much. Man, okay, so walk us through it. What, what, what have you done? I was blown away. I never expected what I saw inside that bus. Eric said he still had two months of work left, but I was super impressed with what he had accomplished already. He built a couch near the front that could turn into a bed and also had storage underneath. He installed propane heating for the bus as well as a propane water heater and oven. He built a full kitchen with a quartzite countertop and a full-size sink. They even had three bunk beds that had netting so the kids couldn't roll off at night. We come to our Navy deck. Oh my goodness, the Navy yeah. boys here. We have a flashback saying we're a little bit longer, but that's pretty much how we slept in the boat. So Rick, did you guys share bunks when you were in the yeah, Navy no, we like that? Like that no, no, no. Oh, we, okay. didn't, we didn't roll like that. <laughs> they mounted solar panels on the roof with battery cells as backup and had a whole closet built out to store it all. I mean, it was crazy for a guy who's never done any of this kind of work before. So everything it's I did, I learned from YouTube. Really? I didn't know anything about electrical. You got four Battleborn batteries. They're 100 amp hour batteries, and that's the, the house batteries that the solar charges or the shore power, however mm -hmm, you want to mm -hmm. bring the power into the bus. And you learned all of this from YouTube? Every bit of it, yep. That's wow. great. All right, thank God for YouTube, because I had to watch a video on how to remove the, um, the seats from the bus. Yahoo, well, that's exciting stuff. Basically got every screw out of this bus, I think. And so now I got to start taking the actual sheet metal off. No idea what I'm doing. Basically winging it as I go. So I thought it would be easy. Everything was, oh yeah, just take out the seats and uh, you know, and put in some walls. I don't know how to run electric. I don't know how to frame out a, a, a bus or a house. What's wrong with my measurements? So lots of countless hours on YouTube, you know, especially when it comes down to plumbing and electric, just watching a video. Okay, I think I understand it. Go to apply it, realize I have no idea what I'm doing. I have to rewatch the video 15, 20 times. <sighs> I'm just an idiot sometimes. So I need a check valve in between here. That becomes the challenge, right? We're, we're doing a lot of things that we don't know. Plumbing's probably the least dangerous because if you have a, an issue, it really just gets messy, right? But electrical and propane, 
you know, there's consequences if you don't do it well. So we really were very mindful of that. We hired licensed professionals to come in and review our work before we closed up any electrical work behind the walls. For the propane, we had the leak testing done, making sure everything was put together and assembled correctly. All right, so here's the bathroom. Still a, a work in progress, okay, but okay. we've got our, our toilet here. And check out this little sink, man. It's like what you got in oh, the dentist wow. office, right? Yeah. And, and you got water in here. Yep, it's so we've got fresh water, 100 gallon fresh water tank that sits underneath our bed what? right here. So this okay. is a, a couch that pulls yep. out into a bed. So we got a French cleat here on the wall. Uh, it just slides out, drops in, drops in. Uh, for the wife and I and, and all the kids deal. because they always want to, they always want us to hang out too. But huh? yes, yeah, so there's a hundred gallon fresh water under here and then a hundred gallon gray water underneath the bus mounted outside. Mm. How, how big was the house that you guys have in Tampa? It was a, a 1500 square foot, so it was a good size, but um, down to 280. Yeah. <laughs> 280 square feet. That's 280 square feet before we framed it out. Yeah, so that was, uh, now it's probably so 250, <laughs> 200. That's crazy. What the hell? This, this is killing me. <laughs> it's my <laughs> wife's five-star five review. Star <laughs> yeah, yeah man, us. that's awesome. Wow, man, this is insane. I can't believe you turned this bus into a house. It's great. What kind of reaction do you get from people when you tell them you're traveling across the country with your wife and three little kids? Yeah, when they hear about the three kids, they yeah. think you're crazy. That's what but, it's, it's not the bus, it's not the traveling with your wife. They put them three kids in there. That's where it goes. Whole yeah, it becomes a ball whole ball different ballgame. Ball ball it's yep. a test for your marriage. It, for sure. Power comes in, goes to a... Eric showed us these cool solar panels on top of the bus, and then he went into more detail. It was then that we discovered another surprise. 12 volts or 110. And what's it power? Powers all the lights, it powers my refrigerator, it powers... Plugs? Yep, all the outlets. outlets. Yep. Why not? Okay. Yep. And you know, how long would that last? There was no TV in that, what you were listing out there. Yeah, so we left the TV off, so, uh, intentionally, just yeah. because it's so easy to get caught up. Three in, kids on the road, no TV. I know, there's two of us in my house, we got six TVs, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. And, and it makes sense, but you know, there's so many things to see. And if and if yeah. we had the TV, they won't watch. They won't yeah. look at the sites. Right? I don't know. I know I use TV to keep my kids busy when I had stuff to do. So that's that's a major uh, handicap for them. Hey, I'm gonna make a gamble and say within a month they're gonna be stopping at Target. <laughs> there's a good bet there. They're putting you got at least a 32 inch up there somewhere, the man. You know, you know. Like, well, we're driving. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a fair bet. So when's the first leg of your adventure? You're just starting. This is brand new. You're just getting everything finished up. When are you starting? Uh, you said you're done Wednesday, right? Uh, you're taking uh, it from here and heading we're out. On. We're out. Yep, heading up north. Wow. Uh, we're going to try and make our way up to, you know, the New England area, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont by August. Got some family in New York. I want to see them, some family in Mass. Nice. So, yeah, and then that's after great, that, don't know where we're going. What an adventure. Yeah, that's that's awesome. crazy. We better get on it. We got three days to get this thing done. All right, we got you, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah. There's going to be some particular challenges to this bus wrap project. Buses on their own are difficult to wrap. They have these corrugated sections. I believe these are here for safety in case something impacts the side of the bus. It's extra steel reinforcement to protect the people inside, but it makes it a pain in the butt to wrap. You have to go over this corrugation, and what happens is, the height of the print is eaten up by it. So if I print this tall, by the time we go over this stuff, it's gonna shrink that much more. So when you're cropping out these sorts of panels, you have to give yourself plenty of bleed because that height is gonna be taken up by going in and out of the channels. The other uh, very difficult thing is obviously you can see there are tons and tons of rivets, rivets and screws. Rivets and screws create a little pucker in our vinyl and it makes it want to tent, it's called tenting. So we have to go out of our way to apply adhesive promoter around each one of these things. You'll see them with a little brush going around each one of these things to make sure that the vinyl stays down around these rivets. Aside from that, it's a very large vehicle, obviously. Big panels, hard to work with. You know, when you're positioning this, you get it all up there and you're off by two inches, you got to take it all down, move it all bit by bit. Um, it's uh, difficult to work with. Once everything gets into place and they start laying it down, that part of the work should go fairly quick, but it is very tedious going over all of the, the rivets and corrugation. Another thing with this one is all customized, so I've got all kinds of electrical boxes and panels coming out. Uh, yeah, these aren't things that you normally find on the side of a school bus. These are things that Eric has added in order to turn this bus into a home. 3M has some specific procedures for dealing with deep body lines and channels in a wrap. You can see Lumpy is using a heat gun and a foam roller to lay in the vinyl into the body line. Vinyl has what's known as memory. It wants to stay in a certain shape. This particular vinyl, when it reaches a certain temperature, loses its memory and becomes malleable. 
you're able to work it into body lines, it takes on the texture, and then as it cools, the memory changes into the new shape. So it's a very specific process that happens molecularly. Uh, I've got the hose line run from the house into the city water line of the bus. So right now I'm gonna go inside the bus, look for leaks while Ingrid turns on the faucet. So I'll take the camera, you can follow me along, and if you hear me screaming, shut the water off. Let's see what happens. In the early stages of our channel, of course, we're focusing on converting this school bus into an RV. And then I think our long-term goal for the channel is, of course, to do the weekly vlogs, but maybe talk a little bit about how we are sustaining this lifestyle and how we started this lifestyle. Thanks for having us here at your shop. Oh, yeah. I uh, really appreciate it. You want to tell me what, why are we here? <laughs> you tell me why you're here. <laughs> what are uh, you doing? I was an accountant. I was working a lot of hours. I was outsourcing my parenting to daycare, paying everything I made was going towards daycare and the mortgage. We really just wanted to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with the kids and in our old lifestyle, in a more traditional living situation where both parents have jobs, send your kids to school or daycare, we just weren't seeing our kids for very long during the day. It was about three in the morning. I was on Facebook Marketplace. I just happened to be up. I couldn't sleep uh, and I saw an RV and it, was, it looked beautiful from the, from the photos and my wife happened to be awake too at three in the morning. So I went to her, I showed her the phone. I said, don't look, don't comment, don't think, don't say anything. Just look at the pictures, it's pretty. Uh, nine o'clock in the morning, we were both at the shop looking to buy it. Uh, and that's when we found out there really wasn't a place to put the kids safely in that RV. There's no place to put car seats. And uh, so that kind of dashed those plans. Then we thought about a school bus. And I thought, well, school buses are made for kids to crash in. So that's gotta be perfect. Uh, and it turns out there's a whole uh, army of people doing it on YouTube. There's tons of videos that you can watch people convert school buses into tiny homes, and that's essentially what we did. So how does it feel to have this thing like up here now? It's pretty neat, man. Uh, it's actually, it looks amazing. The quality, the, the, the vibrancy of it. You know, it's one thing when you see it on paper, right? Like, okay, the design looks fantastic. I love your concept. I love how it yeah. is, but to see it firsthand and in person. When it's 20 foot long, it's like, oh, wow, that's, <laughs> that's a big deal. Yeah. And actually, it's really nice, too, because it is a used bus, and it's got some dings and some dents, but yeah. this kind of helps uh, mask some of that. So um, You're at an advantage also. Because of the size of the bus, you have a very powerful promotion. You have a good ad space. You know, you're going to be able to see this from a good distance, so it yep. will help promote your YouTube channel. I wouldn't be surprised at all if driving this thing around drives up your YouTube subscribers like crazy. And that's what we would hope and I'll have, uh, we'll keep track of it. We should yeah. have a, uh, tell us where you found us. Mm -hmm. you know? And you know, for a lot of our customers, we can account for a growth in their business just from doing a full wrap and having a phone number on it. Uh, you know, all of our customers tell us they immediately start getting more and more phone calls. This is really kind of an experiment, a social media experiment. That same sort of thing that we apply to businesses who want to drive their business. This is driving a, a YouTube channel. And it's cool because you got the QR code on here. Yeah. I checked it, I tested it, it yeah, works. It That's does. pretty neat. Um, it takes yeah. us right to our page. Mm -hmm. What's our goal with social media? We don't know. We don't really have one, right? Uh, build a following. But this is where we'll do all our supercars, you know, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, anything that's doing something custom, like this Audi R8 is in here now. Right after we get done with yours, we'll be dismantling this car and wrapping it for a charity, as a matter of fact, so that's kind of cool. At best, right, we're documenting our family lifestyle, right, our, our journey. So for posterity purposes, our kids can see this in 30 years from now and have a picture of, hey, what's dad like, right? Uh, God willing, I'm still there, but. But it is pretty cool that you guys are doing your YouTube channel. We're doing ours. We're filming our episode. You guys are filming an episode for your thing. So it's kind of like this cool little And you guys are killing them, like, uh, just as far as quality of production. So I'm copying what you guys are doing now just to steal some of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you guys something because it's cool. On a vent, a lot of people will just clear the vent off. Pete actually took the time to make each individual cut on the top of each one of these and lay that piece in so that it looked as good as it could look. It's tight work, Pete, really Thanks, nice. Pete. I would say Jason with Media One pretty much uh, took the design and ran with it. The kind of initial layout came from our YouTube cover page, but from there he had creative control as to what to do. Although we did request to add on the postcard the Dear mom, we're gonna miss you. P.S. Tell the boss I quit, which I think is very adorable and probably our favorite thing on the bus.
All right, guys, here we are three days after Eric brought the bus in here. Two days. Well, you get by Monday, Tuesday, it's Wednesday. It now, Monday, granted, so it only spent two rapping. days wrapping it. So there I wanted to say Monday was just a prep day. <laughs> Usually yes. we do a big reveal, have the client come in and see it at the end. But Yeah, no, he's been sleeping in it while we're working on it. So he's seen it every day. So yeah, so it's, it's not, not that a big, big of a reveal, but let's go see what he thinks come about on. it. Wake up. I think he's in there. There he is. Oh. And with the window <laughs> again, <laughs> man. <laughs> so let's make sure who it is. What's up? What's up? How, How are you doing? How you doing, man? How's it going? All right, all right. Well, all right. How are you? Very good, man. So have you had a chance to check everything out? Uh, you know, yeah, absolutely. It's incredible. It's amazing. These it's guys amazing, are killing right? Two days of work and we're done. I can't believe it. Right. And usually, you know, two days on something like this, this much square footage is not that big of a deal if it's a flat side trailer. Sure. But with this thing, all the rails on it and the rivets and everything else, man, these guys came in here. I, I was surprised they got it done that fast. And uh -huh. I've seen them do this work for 20 years now. It's pretty crazy. But man, look at it, huh? It, it looks and amazing. It, it yeah. tells the whole story too, right? I love, I love the, uh, the cork board, uh, yep. you know, buy a school bus, turn it into a home and hit the road. And that's pretty much what we did, right? So. Well, now you're on step three. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks so much for bringing it to us. Man. Thanks for uh, helping out with it. Yeah, yeah it's man. our pleasure. Yeah, Make sure you keep in touch on the road. We'll be following yeah, your for adventures, sure. my yeah, friend. Good luck. We'll both be following each other. Yes, sir. A lot of people do say, I wish I could have done that. I feel like I missed my opportunity. And, you know, I'm 44 years old. Uh, we've got three little kids. The opportunity is not gone. You can do it. And I think that people are excited to see somebody act taking charge of their life. These kids are growing up every day and they've got these cool little attitudes and personalities and now we get to experience that with them rather than you know, hearing about how their day was at school. We get to see them develop those skills and it's just, it's really, it's a blessing. We're, we're really lucky. The, the title of our, our YouTube is Destination Unknown, A Life by Design. They don't think we're going to necessarily live in a school bus forever, but we're going to go figure out, travel the country, see where we want to be, if we want to settle. And if we want to continue to travel, we will. So we've got a, little, a huge amount of freedom right now. So absolutely, it's going to be life-changing.